Prison doesn't have to be a waste of time. We can uh, definitely make the most out of bad situations no matter what they are. The cultivation, distribution, and possession of marijuana. Even eight and a half years for it. Tyler Armstrong with his associate's degree in science, liberal studies. If someone would have told me prior to my incarceration that I would be able to go to prison and finish my associate's degree, the first thing out of my mouth would have been that there was no way I was going to prison. Then I would have said that there's also no way I could attend college classes while in prison. This is truly a great opportunity offered here at ECF. And through education, we can not only better our minds, but also break the cycle of being incarcerated. I see change every day. I go to these correctional facilities and though the outside world may seem hopeless, bleak, dim right now, the facilities, they always have hope. These guys are making the choice to come see me to get into education. That's their choice. They made a choice that landed them there and now they're making a choice to never come back, to help support their families. And I don't know if you've ever witnessed light bulb moments, but you start seeing them happen, like their, their eyes get brighter. I can't explain it, it's just beautiful. I would really like to get my bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. I'd like to get into some kind of racing program and use an engineering degree for that and maybe help develop cars and chassis and all that for a racing program. I've gotten my associate's degree in sciences and liberal arts. Barton Community College. Maybe our, our past mistakes don't have to define us. It doesn't have to define me. I can move forward from it and make myself a better person for it. Especially when there's programs like this offered. I think education is probably one of the best ways to prevent people from coming on this side of the fence so, and coming back.